watching the place basically yeah we started off let's say we split up in two subgroups so this is one of those spots that over all the years there's always been tarp in here for some reason it's kind of a cove so the weed and the, the mucky water um, concentrates in this corner here and we've been catching tarp in here well before the sargasso turned up and now since that sargasso has been here it's, it's got even uglier you can smell it right that rotting weed it's all deoxygenated and red back there, and those tarpon are just getting in there and rolling and stuff. Hopefully, we'll see them on the surface. Cool. And yeah, we're going to pole around on the ocean side. Typically, these fish are a little bit bigger. Uh, when the weed's coming in fresh, you'll see uh, a lot of crustaceans in it. There's a sargasso shrimp and a sargasso crab. We get real lucky, we might see some of them. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I got a lucky charm. Nice. <laughs> That's yeah. all you need. The Bronco, baby. Imported. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right. Alrighty. So Dembo took George and Fields in the John boat, and we were on the beach side. And then me and Dave went for a walk. But me and uh, David, we didn't really see a whole lot. Didn't have a whole lot going on. I, I blindly hooked what I think was probably a little snapper, and uh, and had a little bit of a pull tug from a trigger fish. But I mean, really wasn't a lot going on. So me and Dave were walking back towards the truck. We'd met with Dembo and them. And we decided we, we kind of came around this point and we we're like, all right, let's just meet back at the truck and then we'll go on or eat or whatever. And so me and Dave, we kind of got out ahead and there was two sets of rocks, like one before the truck and one right after the truck. And we got to the first set. We, I saw right off the bat, I saw a school of like five decent sized permit. I mean, not big, but like dinner plate sized permit. And I was like, okay, hell yeah. Like there's some fish here. And then we saw, you know, a couple little like runs of, you know, little baby jacks or bait fish, hardtails or whatever. I started throwing at these, they didn't look very big. I started throwing at these little fish, right? And so I, I get a couple follows and one comes up, eats it, set it, and I'm fighting it. And I was like, man, for this little fish, he's digging pretty hard, you know? And then I see him, he kind of runs at the rocks and I see the stripes on his back. I was like, oh, it's a baby bone. Like, hell yeah, you know, like lucky bycatch. Yeah. So we get them in, you know, take them off, toss them in right after that. I think it was literally the next cast I throw out. And then there's all of a sudden this little this school. I mean, it was quite a few fish, but there was little bitty permit yeah. came around the end of the rocks and like a strip, strip, strip. And one of them just flashes on it. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, it was like permit. And so we got him up and then uh, Nick was like, well, there's a ditch across the street. Yeah. You're one fish away from a slam. There's a ditch across the street with baby tarpon in it. And so we like run back to the truck and we tie on this little Charlie or whatever, and, or a little gotcha. And we run over there and it's like this chocolate, like rust chocolate milk ditch. And Nick's like, yeah, just like stir the water a little bit, you know, slap the, slap the rod in the water and a couple of fish roll. And so I cast out there. Keep your back outside, back outside. Tick, 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 tick. Do you know that it's sinking toilet? You see all the shit that's in here? Heck yeah, stay on it. <laughs> Damn, that's a decent fish. Right before Nick could get his hands on the leader, then unbutton. So we kind of slid down the bank a little bit. Cast in there. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. Up, up, up. Get in there. Just boat flip the fish onto the shore. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> first tarpon, too, to the hand. Hey. That's your first ever, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually the hand, yeah. 
Grunt time. <laughs> we grab it, it's, you know, this tiny little tarpon. But I think the combined total of three was probably sub two pounds. Still counts. But it still my, counts. My first, my first, uh, well, it's my smallest bonefish I've ever caught, so that's kind of cool, I guess. First permit I've ever caught, and was the first tarpon to hand for me. Okay. I've hooked many tarpon. That was the first time I've actually put my hands on them, and it was insta It was like, it, you know, in a total of five casts over 30 minutes, I got the slam and two new two new fish for me. Uh, just, I wasn't even thinking about it. When I hooked that permit, it wasn't like, oh, I'm one fish away from it. And I was like, oh, cool, permit, like yeah. my first permit. Yeah. And Nick's like, you're one fish away and there's a ditch right there. And I was like, well, that's right up my alley. Ditch pickles, you know, throwing, <laughs> throwing some creek on the side of the road that's right down my alley. And it's probably 30 minutes or less, yeah. I mean, I think Nick even said that. It's probably one of the fastest Grand Slams of all time. It's gotta be. There's gotta be an award for that. The smallest Grand Slam and the fastest yes. Grand Slam. <laughs> 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 Off the same rock. And so Nick, Nick was gracious enough to say, Dan, you can name it. You know, you wanna call it Dan's Rock or what? And I, I said, Dan's Rock sounds great to me. It was a trip. And then, I mean, the rest of the day was, you know, it was slow. We saw a lot of fish. George actually, he'll have to tell you about it, but I mean, I, me and Dave saw it from the beach and we saw it just. Have at it. But I want to hear about your day. Was it a long day? Well. Yeah. I caught the one fish. And that's the only <laughs> one we caught. Uh, was it a morning fish or an afternoon fish? Afternoon. Oh, so it was a day Right at the day end of the day. Saver. Yeah, day I think saver. it was one, uh, one place that said, yeah, let's stop there and give it a shot right before we leave. And uh, that was a great call, <laughs> great call. Walking along the uh, beach, I notice a uh, small school, five or six of them. I yell at Ben, I'm trying to, thinking in my head how to give him directions of where to look, and it's not working, so then I just say, Ben, and point. <laughs> and then he tries to cast, but his line gets all tangled Correct. up. So I just <laughs> plop it right there, set it nicely, oh. set it. That easy, huh? Yeah. You Kai Martin them. Yeah, pretty much. There was uh, one of them in the school was a he was a hefty fella, and I did not get that guy, unfortunately. But still very pleased with uh, at least a fish on the first day. How did it feel, Sasha? Looking great. Nice, dude. All right. I mean, that's not a bad day one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we learned a lot. Yeah. We got five, five more days. Yeah. So I mean, as long as the weather holds out, I think uh, I think we're we're gonna at least see fish. Uh, the rest is not up to us. But uh, <laughs> you did kind of get hosed. Though. You got a grand slam on the first day, so uh, kind of all downhill from here. Yeah. Yeah. I, 
Maybe you can get it to five pounds combined weight. If we could go up a pound, maybe a p in one pound increments. Yeah, okay, there we'll, we go. We'll, that's that's the next step. Let's go up in one pound increments. The Pequeno slam. Yeah. So Nick did give me the pleasure of this gotcha. This was the the, the gotcha that caught the tarpon that finished the slam. That was my gotcha. It's George's gotcha. I owe you. Uh, no, but this morning I went to go put on my uh, my wading shoes, right? And I don't think I've I haven't touched those those wading shoes have been sitting outside of my house since we came back from Mexico last year. I have not touched them. They were filthy. That's right. One. And I stuck my hand in them to make sure there's no spiders, and I found a Bronco, Hot Wheels Bronco. And I, I think I said it out loud to, to Nick and the guys. I said, I think it's gonna be my good luck charm. And I put this in my pocket, and all morning I kept thinking like, I'm gonna see a fish, I'm gonna see a fish, and I didn't see a fish. And then all that happened, and I forgot about the Bronco. And I got in the back of the truck because I rode in the back of the, tr the bed of the truck after that slam. And I was laying there, kind of leaning back, drinking a beer, like relaxing. And I felt my pocket and I was like, no way. And so I even texted my wife this morning and I said, tell Olin I've got his Bronco for good luck. And I got <laughs> that text message. I'm going to screenshot it. But that Bronco, my son's Bronco that he, that he hid in my shoe was, was the good luck charm. Anyways, cheers to Olin. Cheers, Olin. Yeah. Salute to Oman. Cheers. To